Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn how to troubleshoot a socket between server and client on the same laptop or on the same computer. Okay, this is my code, my script for server. Uh, basically, just open the port 1025 and then uh, receive the and then receive the data from the client and then. Uh, print that data data to the idle screen and that the client is just simple as just connect and then send uh, uh, send uh, sorry this is the client and the client just simply co connect and then send get this data just uh, just a uh, data that to get a web 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 page and now the problem is uh, even when you are correctly define the host port on the python uh, 3.0 3.10 you can define like correctly like this it will still generate an error on the same if you if you run the same uh, the same code on the same idle so first this is this the server script I will run the server script run the module and you can see that there is just the socket is now listening uh, the server socket and then let's get go back to the client and you can see that the host of this client that what the host this client want to connect is the 127.0.0.1 this is the local uh, local loop local loop uh, for my laptop or my computer and so I, I will run this okay and you will see that this is always the no connection could be met because the target machine actively refused even I even I already turned the Windows firewall off all the network I turned the Windows firewall off the result is still the same this is the result and if I change this to even if I change the host to 000 and then run the, the, the server again and then go back to the client again and then the client code I mean and then run the client code again still I will still uh, the Python will still uh, keep the error of the Z10061 uh, the no, no connection could, could be made because the target machine actively reservation and if I, if I change the host of this server that will be uh, bind to uh, I change the address to just simply uh, like that just double single quotes like that and the servers will still running uh, and let's go back to client and then click run and then click and then click run and uh, uh, the Python will still generate the connection could be made can call no, no connection could be made now this the problem is I can uh, the problem we can solve that using the if you run the the Python to the Python client on the uh, on the interpreter Python interpreter so so the server run uh, you you can run the server run on the idle like this so you run and the client run on this Python interpreter so they are speed so now let's run the client now if you run the client code on the uh, interpreter and the server code on the idle the server will get the uh, get the result get the data from the client so it means uh, the code will uh, work both of the code will be work that they, that are uh, uh, they are client to and the server and the client and the server code so basically the server and the client code is working and but the the problem is you must separate them where the separate where the they can be uh, you know, run so uh, so you have see that uh, so now let's change the code to uh, the binded address of the servers to 0 .0 0 .0 0 0.0.0.0.0 0 .0 0 .0 again so we will demonstrate that uh, when you run the 
when you separate them to the using the different uh, so apply a different way different method to run the client and the server they are will be uh, working together so now you can see that uh, the, the idle the server idle output is uh, the data received from the client so you see that uh, not just like not 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 like not like before when we use the uh, 00 0, 0, 0, 0 we will fail and also we, if we omit all, all the string we will also of the, the the work will be a fail and this is the last one if we if we, if we change the code to one to seven dot zero dot zero one uh, and run that on the idle and also go to the CMD disk and uh, up arrow key and click enter and then press enter you can see that the client code it can can run uh, it, even the the server binded address is changed uh, between those three one to seven dot one dot one dot one to seven dot zero dot zero dot one dot zero dot zero dot zero dot zero dot zero zero dot zero dot zero dot zero and also omit all together and the uh, client only use the one to seven dot zero dot zero but there are some sums of uh, limitation you miss if you use the host as the land card address you must uh, you must change this client address also to same IP address of the client of the server if you run the program on the same laptop so if I uh, my my LAN card IP address for this laptop where the server and the client both run together is 192.168.43.1447 now if I run this and pretend just we just the use the old way we just use this we run the both server and the client together on the same idle and we change this to uh, 45 43.157 uh, and run this you will see the result so now run the client and see that we still have the no connection could be met uh, so so you can address or the unlimited address or uh, the client card address on the server and uh, and uh, and the client code bohot running on the same idle but if you run that client on the interpreter Python interpreter on this CMD window here and first you need to run rerun the set server code again click run and then click run mod module again then go back to CMD then uh, pro and click run now you can see that the server is do what we just code the server to do uh, the server will receive the data from the client that is the string of get space slash space http slash one dot zero and append the data to this idle so basically all the uh, all the combination of the address between the server and client if you run the them them both on the same laptop or same computer you must separate them uh, separate them one you have one running on the idle and one running on the uh, python interpreter on the cmd on the python uh, 3.0.4 thank you for watching and hope you like this video don't like to forget subscribe and comment thank you